Welcome to Gray on Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have a circle, and inside this circle, we have two squares which measures 16 square units and 4 square units, respectively. And these squares have two vertices each that is intersecting points on the circle. We are required to find the area of the circle okay so we'll be solving this problem using intersecting chords theorem intersecting chords theorem states that if you have chords inside the circle that intersect then the product of the chords segments is equal to the product of the other chord inside the circles the product of the segments of the other chords. So if you have this A and this segment B, their product A times B is equal to the product of this next chord segment. So if this is C and this is B, then we can say that this A times B is equal to C times D. And that is the intersecting chords theorem. Okay, so since we are trying to solve this with intersecting chords theorem, then we have to uh, draw chords inside this circle that is related to these two squares. So one chord could be the length of this side of the square. And since this, this blue square, I mean, so if this blue square has an area of 16 square units then one side should be four units and since this is also the next square the green square if we draw a segment from this vertex of the green square to the vertex of this blue square then we form a straight line or a chord and as you can see this uh, green square with four square unit in area as of course has a side of two units and this uh, broken line is actually the hypotenuse or the diagonal of the green square and it is actually an isosceles right triangle so this segment is actually equal to two square root of two since that is an isosceles right triangle so we have already now one chord which measures uh, four plus two square root of two okay so next chord is we try to draw a perpendicular bisector of this first chord that we formed. So if that is a perpendicular bisector, then this value 4 plus 2 square root of 2 will be divided by 2. And it should be also the diameter of this circle. So this then is actually four because this is the side of the blue square and this length is we do not know yet let's call this x and this should be x also this should be x also because <coughs> this this square is inside a circle and this if you draw a line here then this should have equal distances and if it has equal distances because this square is at these points the vertices on are these points are on these points on the circle then this should have two equal distances x and x okay so the next chord is 2x plus 4 
Okay, so for the first chord, since it is divided into two equal parts, we intend to divide it into two equal parts. So the first chord is 4 plus 2 square root of 2, and the segment should be 2 plus square root of 2, and 2 plus square root of 2. And for this next segment, since they intersect at this point, let's call this as point A. Then the two segments should be x plus 4 and the other segment is x. Okay, so to use the intersecting chord theorem, let us focus on the segments of the chord. So for if we use this second segment, the chords, this should be x plus 4 times x for the second segment. And this equal to the segments of the next chord. And that is 2 plus square root of 2 times 2 plus square root of 2. Then we have, if we simplify this, we have x squared plus 4x is equal to 2 plus square root of 2. This is just a squaring of binomial. Then we have 2 squared, which is 4, plus 2 square root of 2 times 2, and that is 4 square root of 2. Then the square root of 2 square, and that would be equal to 2. Then if we simplify this, we have 6 plus 4 square root of 2. Then next is, since we are, we will be dealing later with a quadratic equation, then we can actually get the value of x by completing the squares. So by completing the squares for the left-hand side, we have this to fill this blank. So uh, positive 4 divided by 2 is 2. Then if we square that, that would be 4. So since we added 4 on the left-hand side, then we need to add 4 on this right-hand side. So plus 4. So this becomes 10 plus 4 square root of 2. And this becomes x squared plus 4x plus 4. And that is equal to x plus 2 squared. Next is we take the square root of both sides. Then we have to do this. Then this becomes x plus 2 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 10 plus 4 square root of 2. And we need to subtract negative 2 on the left hand side and also to the right hand side so we have the value of x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 10 plus 4 square root of 2 minus 2 and since this negative will give us a negative distance and since there is no negative distance then that would be invalid, so we will be using only the positive solution of this value for x. Okay, so since we are trying to get the area of this circle, then it is best that we get the diameter of this circle. And the diameter of this circle, as we have earlier stated, that we use that as a chord. And that chord is 2x plus 4 plus 4 is equal to diameter d. So d is equal to 2 times x with the value of square root of 10 plus 4 square root of 2 minus 2. Plus 4. And if we simplify further, we have 2 times the square root of 
10 plus 4 square root of 2 minus 4 plus 4. Then we have this diameter to be. We can set this 4 and negative 4. Then the diameter should be 2 times the square root of 10 plus 4 square root of 2 units. So for the final step is we need to find the area we, because we are now ready to find the area since we have the diameter. So the area is equal to pi times d squared all over 4. And the area is equal to pi times the diameter, which is 2 times the square root of 10 plus 4 square root of 2. And we need to square this all over 4. And if we square that, we have area is equal to pi over 4 times 4 squaring the 2 and if we square this square root of 10 plus 4 square root of 2 squared then this will be 10 plus 4 square root of 2 then this 4 and 4 cancels out then we have the area to be 10 plus 4 square root of 2 pi square units and that is our answer okay so for the second method is we are going to use the pythagorean theorem but we'll still make use of the lines that we have drawn earlier so since we have this as the diameter and let us assume this middle of this Square the midpoint of this side and project a line here to be the center of the circle. And draw a line from that point to this point, and this would be the radius of the circle. And this then is actually earlier we got it as 2 plus square root of 2. And this line is actually 4 divided by 2, and that would be 2. And this is R. So if we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem, we have 2 plus the square root of 2 squared plus 2 squared is equal to R squared. Okay, so by simplifying this on the left hand side, we have 4 plus 2 times square root of 2 is 2 square root of 2, but you need to multiply by 2, so we have 4 square root of 2 plus the square root of 2 squared, and this becomes 2 plus 4 is equal to r squared. So r squared is equal to 10 plus 4 square root of 2. And since the area of the circle is pi r square, then we have area is equal to pi times 10 plus 4 square root of 2. And this is actually the answer. 10 plus 4 square root of 2 pi. 10 plus 4 square root of 2 pi square units. And this is our answer for the second method. Same answer that we got earlier. Thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you like our solutions. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. So you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.